Hello and welcome to Fast Track Fitness. I'm Jyotsna from the unit. Part 3 of our New Year challenge is how long can you hold a plank? So the first thing you need to do in the new year before you start anything is find out how long you can hold a plank. So set a timer up and get onto your elbows and then get into a plank. Right? Make sure you keep your back nice and flat, don't let it sag and don't come up. However much you can hold right there. And then see how long you can hold it. From there, you divide that up into four bits. So let's say I have, I can hold this plank for 40 seconds. Then I'll divide that by four and get 10 seconds. And then you're going to do 10 sets of 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off, right? So you hold for 10, rest for 10. You keep doing 10 sets like that. Every two weeks, measure how much time you have to plank again, divided by four. So let's say your plank has gone up to 100 seconds, divide by four. Hold for 25 seconds, rest for 25 seconds, do it 10 times. If your plank is getting too easy and you can hold 3 minutes really easily, you can hold a plank in the low push-up position. So instead of holding it on your elbows, you can go down into push-up position, hold there. And this will help improve your push-up as well. If you find that easy, you can start to take one leg off and hold there. If you still find that easy, you can put your legs onto a stool and then come down from there and hold a decline plank. You're aiming each time for three minutes worth of plank, the hardest variation that you know of. So either it's a decline plank or it's a one leg plank or it's a plank in a low push-up position, doesn't matter. Find the hardest variation and aim to do it for three minutes. That's your goal for the year.